Hello and welcome back to Third Culture Africans. I'm Zeze, your host and the voice behind Third Culture Africans. Welcome to a space where culture, success and inspiring journeys collide. Whether you're a dream chaser, a culture enthusiast or just looking for your daily dose of inspiration, you're in the right place. Um, so I think the conversation around embracing storytelling in our daily lives is what moves the average person and that, that's what allows them to connect with it. If you had to, again, and this is hard, if you had to say what was the one thing you did that in hindsight as now a storyteller, because this is now your work, what would you do differently? What would I do differently in terms of storytelling? Yeah, in your journey, yeah. Nothing. Mm. Ah, nothing. Because honestly, well, <laughs> every, every, every mistake, every um, misstep, every single thing that I've experienced mm. is what has gotten me exactly here. Mm. Writing my book, came from a personal struggle mm -hmm. um, and you know being open about that being creating stories around other personal struggles that other African women you know face connected with people in a very very real way and it connected with people in a way that they wanted to change their own lives where one of the most fulfilling things for me is people sending me emails or DMs or meeting me in the supermarket and saying, because of the book, I started a stock portfolio or I bought land or I started budgeting, you know, better. What is more incredible than that? Like I, I would change none of it. Every single struggle that I've experienced has gotten me exactly here. It has made me more aware of my own strength. Because I feel like with everything that you face or you're forced to face, you develop new skills, you, de you develop new strengths. Um, so I, would, I wouldn't take anything away from that. Amazing. Thank you. Um, speaking of smart money moves, um, Inkira, you touched on um, one of your businesses, Spinlet. Um, which was the music streaming app that had over 2 million subscribers at one point. Um, you've also been a lecturer. <laughs> Let's keep going now. This is the point of the show. We're supposed to be giving you your flowers. Um, but you also created an app called Bookkeeper, um, which helps simplify accountancy and cash flow management for individuals and small businesses. A lot of your work has been around empowerment, and bridging the gap for the average person. Now, in your story, how much of that journey for you has been about vulnerability? Because Arisa has just spoken about her storytelling has an element of vulnerability. Um, and I would love to hear your take on being vulnerable within storytelling. Curly, that's a really old buy. Where'd you get that? <laughs> it's all here. Yeah, I have all, I have all of it. That's <laughs> well, that thing is taking <laughs> This is why you shouldn't put stuff in social media. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I, I think everything in terms of my work has mm -hmm. been from experience and mm -hmm. frustration, as I say. So bookkeeper, I remember when I was starting my first um, so when I was at Spinnet, I used mm -hmm. to run a music company which was the um, it was called the iTunes of Africa at the time, mm. and we were way ahead of, you know, way, way ahead of a portfolio company of a, um, of a PE firm. Um, we're moving on from that. So when I was starting my company, um, which is a consulting strategy company, um, my biggest issue was actually um, bookkeeping, um, money, really, mm. and just that's why financial literacy is so really important for me. So I, I remember that I could tell, let's use Naira. So you have a million naira. I could tell where nine hundred thousand naira of it went to, mm -hmm. but the hundred thousand naira that you spend, you know, that you spend ten thousand naira here, five thousand naira here. Mm -hmm. So let's say you spend a hundred dollars here, two hundred dollars there, 
I could never balance my books. Um, just because I was not, you know, I, mean, I had so many, I was like everything to me, you know, like, well, the CEO of everything, chief everything officer. So I was doing everything, I was running around, and I was like, how are these, how are these surviving? Because I couldn't actually make my books meet. I just couldn't tell where the last, you know, that last hundred dollars went to. And as a business, that just wasn't, you know, you couldn't run a business that way. And that's how I said Bookkeeper, which was like an app to sort of like trace, track every single dollar, every single penny you spent. If you've loved this episode or any of the episodes from Third Culture Africans, your support in making the show bigger will be much appreciated. Share it with a friend, comment on social media, join the newsletter community over at thirdcultureafricans.com or leave us a review where you're listening to the show. Thank you and until next time.